Right, just have a very quick look at the um, Ultra Plus X1000 HD Plus. So, um, it is obviously a satellite receiver. Um, this is Freeview. Um, picture quality is very good, it upscales to, to near HD quality from the um, abysmal uh, picture that you normally get from, from the satellite. So that's channel 1 there. Um, obviously it's giving you information, uh, frequency and the symbol rate and the forward error correction which is uh, all standard standard free view uh, DVB-S1 or DVB-S. Uh, if we go down we see all the New Zealand channels there free view channels load, loading up there um, and then we can uh, get into the Australian channels that are currently playing on until Sat 19. Uh, this is the 16 PSK channels that not very many receivers can can pick up at this stage. As there's not many units around that are capable of 16 PSK. This one is capable and very capable actually, um, producing um, outstanding pictures. So that's Mel, um, uh, Channel 9 Melbourne, HD, no less. Um, you can tell, tell it's HD because of this here. Down here it's telling you it's HD, it's in Dolby. And information there about the channel. FEC 8 to 9, so very high lockup point. Uh, yeah, quite a big dish required, a minimum one, one metre. Um, so that's all the information about the channel there. Um, so there's the nine owned channels, which is obviously channel nine, Gem, Go, Life and Extra. It's basically um, broken down into time zones, so there's Brisbane there and Adelaide and Perth. So I, I believe that most of the channels um, are just are, the, are showing the same thing with with the, with the time difference or the time zone. And then we come up with some other channels that are currently on um, Intelsat 19, like Euronews, and those other channels there that you can see. Uh, so that's the first feature of the uh, of this new Ultra Plus 1000. The fact that it can do 16 PSK and do it very, very well. The other, th the other thing is um, the menu, as you notice here, is very similar to the 385 Avant unit, which came out, well, it's been out a few years now. Um, so it's almost a mesh of units. The, if, you, if anyone knows the 990 HD, you'll know that it has um, uh, IPTV channels on it, as does this one. Um, a, a M3U list that you can create and load into the unit. Obviously it comes loaded. Loading up channel 20 USA there. And there we go. It's the USA channel. Uh, what else do we have? Nick Tunes, I guess it's like Nickelodeon. About ninety percent of the channels are working. There's about there's over eight hundred of them, so um, most of them are working. But if obviously they come and go. Uh, what else have we got? Um, CBS two. Hopefully that one's working. Yep. So there's a, a lot of channels, as I said, 100, eight, uh, over 800 channels there uh, from all around the world in different languages. NASA TV is there. I haven't actually tested NASA yet. I haven't seen if this one's working or not. It is. And apparently it's reporting it's an HD. I'm not sure that that is an HD. Uh, no, it's not. It's definitely not. Uh, let's try this one here. 
Uh, that isn't either. I'd say it would be an HD from the source, but obviously um, it's lost the quality on the internet. Um, so a lot of features in this unit, and it's Linux based operating system um, with a heck of a lot of features including the plugins which can do various things um, that you will have to look up on the internet what they do um, yeah so overall um, very good unit